Hello and welcome to the Awesome 180 channel. I am Ashton Doctor, your habit coach. And today we're going to be talking about the basics behind intermittent fasting. We're not going to be diving deep into the science behind fasting. I'm going to reserve that for another video. But today I want to talk about fasting from a purely logical perspective. You see, all of us as humans, we are animals. And animals follow a certain eating rhythm. When you think about it, there are only two kinds of animals that exist on the planet that are obese. And if you're thinking elephants, no, they're not one of them because their large size is what they are. It's what their bodies are designed for. I'm talking about two other kinds of animals. Human beings, of course, and pets. Think about it. Which other animal have you seen that is obese? But your neighbor's Labrador is nice and tubby and walking around Golu Polu. So you see what's happening is that as human beings, we are not understanding what our feeding times are or the quantity of foods are. When you think about the wild, if you look at a zebra, the zebra is constantly munching on grass. Throughout the day, it's munching on grass. And then look at the other end, when you have a lion. A lion eats once every three or four days. It eats a big meal and it's done for the day. Both of them are in synchronicity with their biological rhythms. What's happening with us is that we haven't understood what our rhythm is. You see, when the sun goes down, the zebra stops eating. When the sun comes back up, the zebra starts eating again. It understands the natural rhythms and eats according to that. As human beings, we've completely stopped listening to these rhythms. We eat at any time of the day, three o'clock in the night, two o'clock in the night, and then we again start at six in the morning or the first thing that we wake up and do is eat. So we need to understand what our natural rhythm is. As animals, we're used to days of feasting and fasting. Days when food is readily available in large quantities and days when there is food that is not available. So our bodies know how to regulate this. Now we live in a world where food is in abundance. We have to artificially start creating the scarcity so that our biology can keep up with our mouths. Only once we give our bodies that break from food, do we actually allow and understand what hunger truly is. Why is intermittent fasting so important? It does three critical things. The first thing intermittent fasting does is that it gives our gut a break. If you're constantly eating, the gut is constantly working, but it needs time to heal. It needs time to repair and that is exactly what intermittent fasting allows for. The second thing intermittent fasting does is that it allows us to actually use the stored fat that we have. The third thing intermittent fasting does is it allows us to regulate our blood sugar. So these three things are important for us to live a healthy, happy life. I've been doing intermittent fasting for the last five, six years. And this is before the whole craze of intermittent fasting and before it became popular. I lost a lot of weight because of intermittent fasting. But more than that, I felt my overall health improve. And that is what I want all of you all to experience. The idea is not just weight loss. That's a silly way of looking at intermittent fasting. Fasting is actually the right way of resetting your body. Think about it. Why do all religions have some form of fasting built into them. Every single religion around the world that you think of has fasting as one aspect of it. So fasting is very, very essential for our body to understand recovery and prevent illnesses. I hope this video has at least sparked this curiosity in you about maybe I should start trying this thing out. Maybe it's not so crazy after all. Because I remember when I started doing this six years ago, people thought I was bananas. They thought I was mad. They're like, you're not eating for 16 hours? Are you mad? You will die. I haven't died. I'm still here. Okay. And thriving. So it's not about what we believe currently to be good for us, which is eat, 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 eat. We need to give ourselves a pause. So your habit for the week is to maintain a 12 to 14 hour fast. This is the most basic, this is the absolute bare minimum that you should be doing. A 12 to 14 hour fast. So for this week, just experiment with it. Whenever you finish your dinner, that's when the fast starts. So think about 12 hours from then is when you can eat again. Or 14 hours from then is when you can eat again. If 14 is easy for you, try 16. 
And that's where the magic happens, at that 16 hour mark. I have written a lot of articles on intermittent fasting. It's there on my website. Please go check them out. What do we mean by fasting? Remember, fasting is not eating anything. The three things that you're allowed to have while fasting are water, black coffee, or green tea. No sugar, no honey, not even a tiny teaspoon of milk inside. Just experiment with this and see how you feel. In fact, I'm going to give you my Habit Coach Pro Tip when it comes to hunger. There are three things that we should check for. The first is, ask yourself, am I thirsty? Because what happens is that our body can't distinguish between thirst and hunger. And it thinks both are the same. So drink a couple of glasses of water and see. If you don't feel hungry anymore, you knew you were thirsty. The second is that the body doesn't understand the difference between boredom and hunger. Think about it. When you're bored, what do you reach for? Food, something to munch on, something snacky, right? So boredom and hunger are closely related. And the last one is stress. When our body is stressed, again, we feel hungry. We reach for food, comfort food. So think about these three as ways of understanding your hunger. I have a good idea for you. Why don't you get three, four friends together and try this out for a week? Share this video with them and show them why they should be fasting or at least attempting to fast for at least 12 to 14 hours and see how you all feel. Discuss it, chat with each other and become each other's accountability partners. So if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this, remember to hit like, share and subscribe. Also, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Click that so you're notified when my next video comes out. I am Ashton Doctor, your habit coach and remember, awesome lives start with awesome habits.